Uh, I don't know what this is about. You have you have visuals, you can see it. Yes. Uh, there's two games by this dude, and there seem to be like the similar premise, but I. They, they, they look like I have a bit more quality, to, to put it nicely, because the other games are like, a different level of visual quality. Like this one, you can tell by the menu already that. Oh, I'm already here. Okay. I move so slow. Better use the elevator. Okay. Yeah, I don't know anything. The name just speaks for itself. The wrong floor. I guess we wanna go somewhere, but we chose the wrong floor. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Did I pick right? Hmm. This doesn't seem correct. Ah! Why did I... Why did I do that? Why did I even do that? I can't see shit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Am I breathing? Need to turn on the elevator generator. See, this is more realistic at least. I need to find the fuses to power the elevator. That's a dead body. I should report this. Don't I have a phone? Oh, you. Been gone for a long time. Need to get six elevator fuses. <laughs> Fuck off. Looks like we are on the wrong floor. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. When I fuse to fix the generator, I will cry. I would just start bawling. I would just start fucking bursting into tears. What's that sound? I hate that sound. Stop it. Thank you. I have a flashlight now. Moving so fucking slow. Can you move faster? Okay, that was loud. I saw a dude on a, in a thong start moving towards me that time. I was more focused on analyzing the that dude other than the jump scare. I cannot open that. Okay, we fixed the power. Can we go now? Need to turn it. Oh, okay. No, what is that? That's in Russian. I cannot read that for my life. Or or another language. I cannot be. I cannot, I cannot be sure. But it's either my hunch. It's either cigarettes or a condom. <laughs> I I'd rather go for option A. Attention, extremely dangerous maniac. Height two and a half meters? Age 30 years, cuts all over the body. Homeless, may hide in abandoned buildings or basements. The police ask for assistance on in disseminating information about a particularly dangerous offender. I see. Sabini. Attention, extremely dangerous. Maniac. <laughs> I agree. Anything? 
I think I'm walking around aimlessly. Hide in the locker? I'm trying to interact with it, but it won't let me. Ew, what's that? Ew! Jump in the locker? I'm, <laughs> I would love to. Won't let me, but... Broke it with a crowbar. Hey! <laughs> hey! Uh, did you did something break here? Did you get? Can you give me a crowbar? Do you have one on on you there? Right there? Oh, you broke that. That's very kind of you. He power walked out of here. <laughs> Did you see the arms on that guy? They were huge. You're not gonna run at me, are you? Well, yeah. Yeah, you needed the. Yeah, you needed the. What was it? The grinds of music, you know that one, like. <laughs> hey, how are you? Your arms are cons comically long. Not to take cigarettes. Do you have a crowbar by any chance? Your arms are not normal. I cannot stop ignoring that fact. And you are two two meters and a half big. Should I not be here? I'll leave you be. Thank you, Kong. Yeah. This is built different. What's that? The code behind the red cabinet. Do you ha have any idea how little that narrows it down? When I turn around, he's gonna be there. Never mind. Music stopped. Used to drink a lot of Actimel. <laughs> that right, cabinet? He's gone! This is a red cabinet. That's not. Too many red cabinets. Locked. You're gonna run at me. I know it. I know you're gonna run at me. Or something. You're gonna pop in front of me. Which red cabinet? There's so many of them. The body! It moved! You look like shit! Holy fuck! But I'm assuming since since there's actually something that happened here, I'm assuming I'm going the right path. Fucked. Does he fall out ghouls that look better than that guy? He does have a physiona uh physical appearance uh, similar to the ghoul. <laughs> Behind the red cabinet. This one? There's something there. That's a fucking eyeball! A huge ass eyeball! You see it? That's literally an eyeball. Not two. Oh, oh, there's a family of eyeballs down behind the. Behind the red cabinet. That's the red cabinet? Oh, how coined. 1990. 1990. Got it. Boy, howdy. I sure hope nothing jumps out of me when I leave this room where I make progress in. Okay. 
Hear the breathing. He's gonna ju jump at me again. The monster hiding the locker from the absolute unit of me. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna jump at me again. He's gonna jump at me. He has to jump at me again. Oh, he was following. He, he's still following me because I could hear the breathing. His asthmatic lungs pinpointing his location. I don't see anything there. 1990. You should jump at me now. You should do something. Let me know when the jump scare will be. Like I'm expecting it the entire time. Like I feel like it's gonna happen. There it is. Occupied. No. Okay, I get it. Wait. I'm checking. Doing the rational thing. I'm going to check. That's a red room. I guess that was a jump scare. Okay. How the fuck do I... What? There. Arrow keys. Mil. Nueve. Noventa. Got it. Jump scare? Yeah. Green crowbar? Yeah, cr why green? Jump scare? Okay, as much as I take it but not too serious, it's pretty good at keeping you paranoid because I'm all constantly expecting a jump scare. This is gonna close the moment I go in. What are you doing here? What's the point of this? It's gonna close. Fine. That room was pointless. Oh, it was this way, right? I think it was this way. graphics are giving me some kind of headache yeah it's <laughs> look at him he's so happy <laughs> he has a picture of himself <laughs> what <laughs> what what was that I, I can take it yeah uh it's sort of the the constantly moving light like that that you it's kind of it can make you kind of dizzy there one single click letting the game in the narrow hallways make it good yeah it's it's trying to it really focuses on trying to give you uh some sense of claustrophobia and it works it works i get it thank god it's not a fuse Is it good? No, I don't close it yet. Are we good? Is it done? I'm assuming that's it. I cannot touch anything about this one. Hi! How are you? You good? You have lovely eyes. He's cop I don't know. He's just like a statue, like a wax statue. Okay. 
You're gonna, you're, you're, okay, I'm gonna call it now. You're gonna, I'm gonna get a good jump scare the moment I approach him. Just wait. Okay, yeah, avert your eyes now if you're... No way. Mwah. Oh, what a love. Oh, <laughs> hey, 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 dude. Like, look, look, I know it was just a kiss, but I know I, you're kind of moving too fast for me. I'm, uh. What's that you got? An axe? Uh. Yeah, you're coming. You're, you're kind of coming too fast on me, so. I'm not to be too fast. So. Goodbye! And. Ah! That's it! <laughs> I enjoy that. I really enjoy that. It was very well made. It was very simple and well made. Yeah, it managed to keep you paranoid. Like the entire, like the entire scenario and graphics were very well made for this. I liked it. This it? Do I do anything? Oh yeah, that's it. And I did I did this entire without this entire thing without the camera shake. I'll probably get gotten dizzy or nauseated. <laughs>